Welcome to the Top Shelf, my Criterion DVD review series. This is episode 46. Uh, thank you for joining me and hanging in this long. Again, if you want any uh, longer reviews of any of the films that we've covered, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get to it at the end of the series. As you can see, we're almost there. Uh, my name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapal filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. And we're taking a look at my Top Shelf, uh, which contains my Criterion collection. I'll pull one at random, I'll give you a short synopsis and a look at the extras if there are any, and um, give you a brief uh, review if I've seen it, and uh, a reason why I purchased the disc. Um, so let's get started here. It's getting easier to pick. The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez. Um, this is a very interesting film, and again, I bought it because I had heard so much about it. I even seen trailers of it on television as a child, as a child, as a mere lad, um, but when I was younger. Um, this is directed by, um, I can't see, but we'll see when I break out the glasses. Um, it's basically about a, a Mexican man who goes on the run from the law because there's um, accused of uh, stealing property from people. And um, it just leaves this huge manhunt and it stars Edward James Almost, who also produced it. And they like to um, really uh, showcase uh, the realism of the time in this film. It's done in a very, it's shot in a very, um, I don't want to say documentary-like, but it looks like a documentary camera form, but it's just applied to a feature uh, structure. Um, so let's break out the glasses, get some more information for you. It's from 1982, it's 106 minutes. Um, 2K transfer, interview with actor and producer Edward James Aldwos. New interview with uh, Sean A. Noriega, or author of Shot in America Television, The State and the Rise of Chicano Cinema. Cast and crew panel from 2016, uh, including director Robert M. Young. Um, that's who uh, also uh, directed this. Um, plus an essay uh, by film film scholar. Now I've watched this and I, I find it pretty interesting. Again, I'm always looking at Western forms. And this is a unique Western because it's told from the um, perspective of a Mexican person um, or a Latino and um, his run in with the law, even back in the Old West. And um, it's pretty interesting. It's uh, very tense because the, the chase gets very large and um, um, it's a pretty good film. I would recommend anybody who hasn't seen this to see it. Um, spine number, spine number 940. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.